Good afternoon, Mr. Styles. Fenley. Right. I'll have a quick look at you. If everything's working properly. Quite a bit cold today. <laughs> last night, Mr. Stiles. Attention. Aye, sir. Report, Mr. Stiles. I was standing guard on the forecastle about midnight, sir. Go on. And I saw what looked like a light 200 yards off the starboard bow. What happened next? It seemed to be on a rally course. And then it disappeared under the hull. Yes? Then it seized Lieutenant Fowler and pulled him overboard. Seized him how? With its arms, sir. Mm -hmm. It had arms. As long as masts. Black as the devil. Then those vicious arms coiled themselves around the ship like serpents. I climbed as fast as I could up the shroud. But it pulled the ship down. All the way down into the water. And all my mates, every one of them, drowned or crushed by the monster. No diagnosis, Doctor? Well, the chap's got a bit of bruising, but other than that, a fine state of health. What do you make of his story? Madness. He suffered a deeply traumatic shock which has manifested itself in a state of delusion. So you don't believe him? Surely you're not taking him seriously, Holmes. As a midshipman first class, Mr. Stiles has likely lived before the mast since he was 12 years old. I'm inclined to take seriously the account of such a veteran seaman. Really, Holmes, it's a sea monster. I believe that Mr. Stiles is convinced he saw such a creature. And you? I should like to see this ship for myself. Mr. Lees, isn't it? How much longer? Not too far now. Well, Lestrade, you mentioned my brother earlier. To what exactly were you referring? He contacted me recently. Wanted to catch up. Mm. Bit of a shock, that was. I mean, I don't think I've heard from him in... Seven years. Like you've fallen off the face of the earth. Surely he contacted a family. He was embarrassed by his weakened state. Nothing wrong with that. Injured in a line of duty. Injured? He was paralyzed. Bloody thieves. That man's a hero, if you ask me. I don't think he sees it that way. Well, I can't see it. That is why I requested for Lees to bring a great deal of strong rope for our excursion today. If one were harnessed and lowered down, one should get a view of the ship. Holmes. I really think you ought not to do this. No, of course I shouldn't. You should. I? Not a former military man. I was an army surgeon. Tom Watson, I couldn't deny your moment of heroism.
this shit out. Wind picking up. Then time's off the essence. Everything all right? Well, I think he's okay now, sir. I think he's ready to come up there, sir. Well, what did you see down there? <gasps> Nothing. Nothing. It's an empty ship. Well, 
if there's anything more to see here. We may be able to make the seven o'clock train back to London.